Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. To that pole there. Over to that side. And then that one is going to run straight down to that one down there. And that will also stop. So if I look here, that one runs to there. That one runs over to that one. This chest runs down there, and that one runs over to that side. And then if I look up here, that one runs... Yes. They're all going to the right line. So then that one is the bottom on the right-hand side. Uh, second up, right-hand side. Second from the top right-hand side, and top right-hand side, and we're all going right. right. I think I've got everything set up in here exactly as I want, and then we've got all of the, the light bars going everywhere as well. So I put those going that way. So they're, they're moving everything over to the right-hand side, and then that one down and that one down. So I'll empty that one out. It's going to put it all down into this chest down here. I got like 600 of them down in that chest there. And this one is rapidly... You know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm going to take that landfill out of there. And I'm going to drop it into here. Actually, I'm not going to... I'm going to drop it into this one. So we can just double check that that's... Right. That's lit up as it should be. Because that one's got to load in there. That one's going to empty out in a minute. And it's no longer going to have any extra... And that light's gone out. So then we should have that light down there light up. As soon as that one there reaches the crucial number of 480. And then it's multiples of 480. That will run all the way down through there. Now, in theory, when that one's full... Well, the only problem is it, it could go to that one and fill that one before it fills that one. Now, that one's in the right place. But I don't... I don't want it filling that chest before it fills that chest. I suppose, really, we should have them all in a long line if I want this to work properly. It's, I know I've got, I know things are a little bit complex here. This is a little bit of a complicated setup, but roughly speaking, it should be all right. Yeah, at the moment, everything's sort of drifting over here. So that one is... That one's going to end up filling up before that chest does. Which is not how I want things to work. Uh, how can I stop it from doing that? There's got to be a way to... Ooh! Now, this I could do something quite complicated with this. Right, that one there will work when we've got below 4,800. So this one here, I'm going to go into the, I'm going to the logistics network, and that one I'm going to set enabled condition. When landfill is less than 4,800, right? We need that to be set on 4,800 set. So that one will work so long as we've got less than 4,800. As soon as we get more than 4,800, that one will stop working. Up until that point, this one here, I'm going to do that one the opposite. That one, connect, this one will only work when landfill is greater than 4,800. So, do that and set. That one has stopped. That one's not working at the moment. That one's only going to work when it's above 4,800. That one I'm going to do exactly the same. Like that. Actually, I suppose I should double that up a bit. Should I, how should I do that? And then... Copy that one into there. So that one's going to run there. That's, that's going to that's gonna send it in that way round down to there. So I don't need all of these. That one I can remove. So that's going to run down there. And then when it reaches above 4,800, that one will... You know, I don't need to have that one on a condition at all. I can remove that. That doesn't need a condition. 
This one here does have a condition. When it's above 4,800, that one will start working. But I don't want that. I want this one here to fill up. And then I want this one to fill up. And then I want that. Ooh. I could snake them round. One there, 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 and there. Right. Oh. Okay, well, if I snake them round, that means I've got to actually change where some of these locations are going. Let's remove you. You go in, uh, we can go, and then that goes back that way, and yeah, let's disconnect these, like that, disconnect you, so I don't have them connected to the network at all, I will go like that, remove that one, turn you that way, that one will go that way, right, they're now chucking them over to this side, I apologize if you're finding this rather dull. I know that I'm spending a lot of time getting this set up so that it sort of works. But it's like sometimes I like to just sort of spend a little bit of time experimenting with some of the like I consider these to be some of the added extras that this game has got. So those two there, I need to actually just swap those around. That's, that's a fairly simple move. So I'll take that one out and this one over here. Actually, I just want to swap to there like that and then I want to go from here to that one so that goes over to that side and then this one here needs to go down to that side there right that's that green bit then this one over here that one's the right spot then that one is the fourth one which go to here so then we've got here this is the fifth one that one needs to be over there so this one needs to change around and that one needs to change as well so I've got I've mixed the wires up here a little bit hopefully I'm not going to have any problems with that so I go like that and remove that one so this needs to be a red wire over onto that side what have you got on you you don't have anything on you so I can take that red wire there I can run it in a straight line all the way over to that combinator there. Just like that. Right, now I get the green. And I go from there to that one and I remove that. And I go from there to there and I remove that. This one, I want to put to this one. I want that to go like that. And the top line should be in the right place. So this one here runs to that line this one here runs over to that side then that one runs over there and that one runs to there that that's that's correct we've now got that all set up so i've now got this huge great big set of lights on here that will show exactly how much i got four i got eight chests down here eight chests with 4800 landfill in each one so we're going to end up so hang on what is that eight times 4,800. Uh, 8 times 4,800. I'm doing this on my calculator, by the way. 38,400 pieces of landfill to fill everything all the way up to the top. And then we and that one will go right up and that will fill that light right there. I'm really pleased with that. I'm actually really pleased with that. It was supposed to only be a temporary thing. But I can now lift that up and I can move that somewhere else if I want to. And we can sort of carry on and do some more with it. Right, well... While that is doing a little bit of work and filling up, let's just check over here. That's coming through there quite nicely. And the work of robot speed is literally seconds. It's 99% now. Seconds away from completing. 99%. And if we go here, that should give you an idea when it actually completes. I'd like to actually see this happen. I really would, because like, it's it's above 99%. So, uh, we've got a maximum of 25 thingies to go through. And you can see the speed. It's going to increase by 40% on there. We should get a significant jump. I really want to run over this way, because I want to see... Right, well, we can see robots everywhere. I want to see what these are doing. 
I've got several actually running through and working, and I've got more over here. That one's making some. I don't know how many robots we've got. I, 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 not robots. I don't know how much of the, the actual stuff we've got. Um, the science, the correct science packs. I don't know how many there are. So close. I, I, I want to watch it like a hawk because I want to see how much of a jump it does with the, the, the robots as they're flying through. There's loads of robots here. They're all flying over. It's still not happened yet. I'm still sat watching and waiting. Mainly because I don't want to miss it. I'm, I'm seriously tempted to go off and look at the numbers and, and sort of see how many... Uh, there we go. Oh, wow. That was a definite jump. There was a definite jump in speed just then. That was like quite... It was quite noticeable as well. There was a significant and noticeable jump. And they're going quite a lot faster now. This That is very, very cool. Uh, the next one is down here. Worker robot speed. All the way up there. That takes 5,000. But that also takes the... Space science packs. And we can't get those until we started launching rockets. Which is going to be a little bit... Ooh, excuse me. Right. So we got other things that we need to worry about before we can do that. And... Really... Right, we got coal liquefaction. That's quite a cool thing to be able to unlock. But right now, coal liquefaction is not going to be hugely beneficial to us. Main things we're going to want to look at. I mean, eventually we will want to do the Kvorex enrichment process and nuclear fuel reprocessing and get nuclear power going as well. These are all helpful, useful things to get. But they're not things I'm going to do just yet. That's the stuff that we will deal with later. Uranium processing as well. This is all good and useful things. I think I'm going to go back to going through some of these just, just for a little while. We'll let those carry on. So we've got the trains working over there. I've now got the stone working down here. I run across the tracks over there and I am going to head back over. Ooh, I'll tell you what, before I do head all the way back over, we've got this bit up here that we want to do and I've now cleared the stone. That's now completely clear. We can start building some stuff there. We're going to need a bit more space for this one. Just a little bit. I want that one there. So you are... Actually, no. That one goes over there. So... Oh! I can't put that down. Because I don't have the... Um, I don't have sufficient range on the the radar. I've got to actually manually go around and do that. I, for, I forgot about that. I've got to manually go and do that myself. Right, well, never mind. We've, we've unlocked up to there. I've actually got a nasty little spitter right there. I'm going to ignore that one for a minute. What I am going to do is I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to remove those trees there. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to remove those trees. And those trees there. Right. That's all of those trees. Before I go running off up there, now that I've got the trees set to go and do things, every time I cross a track, I'm looking over here to make sure there's no trains on their way. Now you, you've got to get into the habit of doing that. You've got to get used to doing that. Because otherwise bad things happen, like, you know, you get squished by trains. And you really, really don't want to get squished by trains. Not not, not too frequently, anyway. Uh, next up, we're coming over here. And you can see the main thing that is that we're waiting on now is these robot frames. Right? That is the main thing that we're waiting on all the way through is robot frames. So I'm going to stop that one right there and change that recipe. And I'm going to change that over to construction robots. Like that. Because I'd like to boost the construction robots up by a thousand or so. I feel an extra thousand construction robots would be pretty good. So we're going to start working on that. Now at the moment we've got 2,010. I want to get us up to 3,000 of them. And 
Oh, might be quite good if I could put some more boosts in here. So the other thing I want to do is I want to go to there and get some more beacons. Can't fit any more in there. But I could put one there and one over that side. So I'm going to make a beacon. I only need one. So I'll just I'll make that one. Won't take long. There. One beacon. And... Where is... Oh. It's here. Right. I'll take you right there. And... I'll put that one down there. And then I'll come over this side. I would also like some level 2 speed modules. Uh, I want several of those. How many can I make? I've got, I'm getting 50 of, the, uh, of those processing units. I'm, I'm getting quite a few of those. So I'm going to go... Uh, yeah, you're... Actually, you're getting all of the materials you need in order to make everything here. I'm not going to go and make the increased speed modules. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do it without. And that one, I'm going to move over there so that I'm on, I'm, each of these is getting one extra boost. So I drop that into there and then you into there. We'll worry about boosting these yet further later on. So that's running in there. You're coming along quite nicely. Putting them in, and you down here, 2058. I'm going to leave that there making for a minute, because only about half of the logistics robots are out, whereas the construction robots at the moment, we could do with a few more. Mainly for some of the smaller jobs that we do. Um, we don't need them for all of the jobs, but we are going to want some more. So if I let the construction robots just accumulate now, we'll work up to roughly 3,000 of them. I'd like to have exactly 3,000 if I can. Then once we've reached our 3,000 mark, we will then change over and uh, go back to building more logistics robots by the many, many thousands. <laughs> There is refined flammables all done. Stronger explosives, start research. That one can go through. I've got tons and tons and tons of trees that we're removing stuff from over here. My robots are going to be a bit of a jolly nuisance about this to start with, I suspect. So I'm just... Actually, you know what? I'm going to stay right there. I'm not going to go too far over. But if I stay right there, I can then put these... I can dump that lot like that. So my robots will go along. They'll remove the trees. And then I can also get the logistics robots to bring them up. So if I get three... There, I've got three stacks. Then while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to go down to here. So that's the return and that's the... That's the one coming out here and that's the return. So I'm going to go here. Like that. Now... That one's got to go all the way over to there. So I want to make sure that one goes over there and it will be out on this side. Right, like that. So I'm going to bring you over to there. Like that. Because that's bringing out in a straight line. And then... You're going to go like that. And that's going to bring you... Down here. Uh, right, I'm going to leave it at that point just for a second. And I'm going to get a bit of landfill. I could actually do with a little bit of that. So if I take my landfill blueprint. And we're just going to fill in. A bit of that there. Oh, wait. Because of where I'm stood, that's the edge of where I can go with landfill, is right there. So that's where I want to move it for a minute. I'm going to drop that down there, and then that's going to go like that. And then it's going to go up there and fill that bit in. Right. So the idea here is that I've got the track is running through there. Yeah? And then what the track's going to do is it's going to come down around the outside of the stone. It's going to go back up here. And it's going to come along the top there. Because the return journey is up here. This, this is our return piece on this top side. 
So I don't want it to loop over the return anymore. So I'll bring you out to about there. And then we'll run this one. Might be better to bring that one out that side. I'll put you down there. There we go. That's that. Yeah, that can run in a straight line down there. And it'll get to... Actually, it can do it there. You can go... That way. And then... Down there like that. Right. That's as far as I want to take it at the moment. So that moves out there. So long as it's covered by the green area on those, it doesn't matter. That's that's absolutely fine. So long as it's covering that green area, then everything will fit in exactly perfectly. That one's going to go there. And so when the landfill is placed, I'll be able to put some more roboports down if I want to. You know what I'm going to do? I got that lot there. I'm going to go up this way. My robots are going crazy again. Oh. I can get rid of some more of this timber. That'll help things out a little bit. I got, st I've still got robots coming along and, and bringing in that. But I've got a huge amount of timber here that we need to remove. So it's going to take a minute or two for them to go through and do all of that. And I'm running out of space. So I need the logistics robots now to come up and free me up. So that I've got this space here that I can use. Uh... While I'm waiting, I'm going to go down here a sec. My robots will come back. I haven't really got any room left anyway, so uh, I kind of need them to do that. Wait, no, stop! Ah, oh, you idiots! Oh, no, I've got... Logistics robots are taking stuff away now. The look of it. No, they're not. Well, I thought they were. Oh, no, I went up too far! Ha, ha, ha! Oh, these idiot robots. Well, I suppose actually it's an idiot Frithgar, really, because, um, yeah, the, the the logistics robots that I'm waiting for, they haven't come up. They haven't come along to... You know what? There is another way. There is another way that we can do this. And this has been suggested to me before, and I haven't actually done it, and I should have done. So I'm going to put a chest down. I've got 22 of those chests down there. I'm going to drop that one down there like that. I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to go like that. There. Now I've got that on me. And I've now got a little bit of space on me as well. So I can just make one of these like that. And I can drop that over. So that is pushing it out. So the logistics robots have got to come up and get that. So then what I can do is I can go up here. My robots will come along and they will fill up all of this stuff in here. I can actually do that as well. Remove all of that and drop down here. Drop all of that into that one. So it's going to push that out. And then all of my robots, they'll come through. They'll charge up. They'll do everything they need to do. And this is a really quick way to get rid of it. And the, People have suggested I do this before and I, I never actually went and did it. And it's the same with landfill. Landfill does also do the same. Like if you bring the landfill up over here and you, you use them like that. See, I haven't got that much landfill at the moment. Not in there. Although I do have more landfill. I've got some more stored in here. So we've got a bit of that, like, kicking around. But in order to have the landfill available... Oh, wait. Did I do a thing with the landfill? Didn't I have one down here? What did I have? No. Why have I got 65 of those in there if they're not going into here? Seems a bit odd. I would assume once the trees are done, they'll go along and do something with that. Um, uh, that would be my guess, anyway. Um, right. Get rid of the map. That's that lot in there. Yeah, the, the robots will come up and get rid of those. I've got 4,000 available robots at the moment, anyway. I'm going to make a green chest. I'm going to put that one down. I'm going to drop that one right there. And that one, I'm going to request landfill in here so that the logistics robots bring the landfill up to us. 
There, I put that into there and I request 4,000 landfill in there. So then the construction robots will take it from this point and place it down rather than having to go a lot further afield in order to get it. Because it's a long trip for them to go from here all the way back home and then back over. It does take them a little while. So if we can do it like this, that that's going to help them out a bit, isn't it? Right. My robots are... What are they doing? Oh, they're charging up and they're just sort of dropping a few things into the inventory. There we go. No, I've still got a couple of them out. Do oh! I got a few of them out with railways. They're, like, they're, they're, there's still some of the track that they haven't put down. And they're waiting for construction robots. Like over there. They're waiting for some of these construction robots to come along and do stuff with them. Those are put in track that we've got out and then I'm waiting for construction robots there to come back so they've got a bit of a long trip to go on right that's all good these are now charging up so I can dump that lot in there oh oh yeah I've already got a big long order of robots to come up and, and deliver some stuff here uh, to, to go and pick those up so that's already being taken care of right i don't know why i didn't think of this before right that whoever suggested this genius absolute genius is a really good idea and I'm, I'm really really glad that you came along and suggested this because it has helped me out immensely now next thing that i want to do is i'm going to get rid of the fast transport belt bit there i'm going to change that over and i'm going to request mining drills again we're going to go for 50 mining drills there and that one i'm going to boost that up to 300 of those i've already got the rest of what i want for a minute i believe yeah that'll, that'll do i think we've got everything that we want for a minute um Next up, I want to start getting rid of some of this. So I want to remove those across there. I've got that one on there. He's got to go. I'm going to have to move that one. Because he's in the way. So if I make five of these, I'm not going to make any more than five. I'm just going to make five for now. That one there is going to go over this way. Now what that's going to do... It's going to leave a gap in the middle of this. Not that that really matters. The bit that matters at the moment. So I want to get that one placed down place that one down there like that and put that next to it this can then be lifted put those down but what that means is I've now got a gap right there and that's gonna leave me with a gap right in the middle of that which does become a bit of a problem later so I'm just going to dump that one there for a minute. So that's covering most of it. There is still going to be a gap down there that's not fully covered. But for a minute, it should be all right. I'm hoping. It, 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 it will... Most of the issues that may arise from that are not going to cause us too much problems. Right, let's get rid of those and that down there. No, don't get rid of the landfill. Get rid of those. Like that. Now, you up there, you need that one and that one. Yeah, so you will charge up. What's the power situation? Get 504 megawatts from that lot. We've got zero at the moment from solar panels, although they should soon... Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day, and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.